it's quite coincidental to see you here. Well, as you probably just gathered if you've seen a previous video, but it may not be previous. Sorry, I may have messed the edge you there. So the left, we've got All Canning's Long Barrow, which is, uh, well, if you want to see that, watch the full video on it. So I'm out filming again. Well, I haven't been out for ages filming. So what I'm, the plan is today is to go to Rybury Ring, which sometimes getting my fingers to work on this is, doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, Rybury Ring, which is over here. So we have to go through this farm and then head straight over, which hopefully is going to work out. So as this isn't very interesting, I'll save my battery and my voice. Now just out of interest, see, you know, you may have seen videos where I talk about footpaths and how wide is a footpath. Well, this is a footpath across this field and you can see where they've ploughed to. So that looks like that's the width of a footpath, I guess. I mean, maybe they're just being nice and not leaving a tiny strip to, to you know, to go along, which will get worn away easily. Yeah, well, there you join me. But actually, that's quite interesting because it's the site of apparently the earliest found Iron Age, Iron Age village and also the furthest extent of the last Viking raid. That's what it said on the sign. So we're off up here. I actually feel better now I'm here. I'm a little bit worried at the moment. So uh, I don't know whether to say anything or not. I suppose I can cut it out, can't I? <laughs> so. But yeah, this feels nice now. I hate a bleak field, flat bleakness, just, or even hilly bleakness, any kind of bleakness doesn't make me feel good at all. Well, uh, this is open access land. Uh, it's quite hard following where I want to go. Huh? Oh, I see. Well, I've just met someone who's coming that way, but I don't know where the footpath is, to be honest. And something goes around here, so. There's a quick spin of the view. Oh, this doesn't go where I thought. But maybe I'll follow it. Oh, and now, not sure what I could smell then, but it's very earthy. Now this is Clifford's Hill. 
and Rybury Ring is just over the top of it. You see the hill on the left there? That's uh, heading to, that's kind of around Adam's Grave Knapp Hill area, which uh, you might be able to link up in voice only because <laughs> it was misty from the uh, Mists of Martinsdale video. But that ridge of hills kind of joins along with this. Oh, what's going on? Where that ridge of hills joins along with this. There's quite a view and uh, <laughs> I'm still not at the top. And Rybury Ring should come into view soon, surely. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it there. That mound there, by the looks of it. So you've got more ups and downs. There you go, you can see Adam's grave now. The peak on the top. Uh. There you go. Giant's Grave. I think it's Giant's Grave. There's so many Giant's Graves, it makes you wonder, doesn't it? <laughs> There's a video about that as well. What a surprise. <laughs> now, this walk's going to be coming back down by the chalk pit. Hopefully. But you might, this kind of is one of those videos where, oh, it's so earthy. It's like incense. It's like walking into Star Child at Glastonbury. But there's no one here burning anything. <laughs> so be, behind that ridge there, that's all Salisbury Plain. So if you hear any explosions, it's from there. Because we do have them regularly. I've mentioned this before, but my childhood was spent with our windows rattling on a pretty much daily basis. Because we lived on that side of the town. Okay, everybody, you ready? Look at the soil creep on that. Oh, doesn't that look fantastic? I mean, oh. <laughs> hey, erotic nature. Look at that. And I'll tell you what, there's two in one, isn't it? Can you hear the skylarks? And them guns. <laughs> Probably bird scarers, actually, rather than guns. But it is shooting season. I'm having a better time than I thought I was going to be. Actually, if I'm honest. Few so far, anyway. <laughs> Let's not speak too far. Never get ahead of yourself. Wow, that's beautiful, isn't it? It's one of my favorite things about this area. It's the, the mass of soil creep that we have. Not, I mean, you see, I mean, 
not every hill, but I mean those, that one there, that's Rybury Ring, so you would expect that to have earthworks because it has at the top. And you can see over on that one as well. And you see the lines. See these, if you look, so you've got a comparison now. Oh, look at that. Saw Creek there. See, that's natural. Yeah. And then even with the straight lines of the field. And then you've got the other lines on the hills ahead showing you unnatural, natural. Because it's true, nature does not make straight lines. And it's so obvious why people lived on hilltops. I mean, look at that view. Sure, it would have been trees, but as I've said before, probably beech trees because it's all chalky. No, it wouldn't be beech, would it? Uh, yeah, interesting. But um, you would see smoke rising from fires, wouldn't you? You'd just see it. Another peak to climb. If you like hill walking, here's a place for you. <laughs> Before I came onto this area, I bumped into a lady walking her dogs who'd just been round the opposite way to the way we're going to go. Not that she went backwards. But the opposite direction. <laughs> Do you see? Yeah, Skylark, Skylarks. Yeah, we've seen them. These mounds are interesting, aren't they? Oh, lots of Skylark nests in there. So we'll follow the path so we don't get any. There's cows, I see. Valley floor. So that looks like it's been some kind of excavation, maybe. Don't know, maybe it's sunk in, who knows? I don't, I'm afraid. Oh, there's a buzzer down there as well. You see it low in the field, just gone into the green field. Very green, now going into the sort of brownie green one and flying up. Is it a buzzer or is it a kite? It's a kite. You can tell by the forked tail. Rybury Ring, which is there, straight in front of us. That's it. Oh, 
nice and serene and peaceful, isn't it? Oh, some more skylights going off. That's why you need to keep to paths, because their nest is somewhere in there. <laughs> crazy things. You know, I do laugh, don't I? Oh, shadow of the kite. Oh, fuck, there he is. She or he. Well, that was nice. Birds of prey. It is quite amazing. I do, I live in an area of birds of prey. It's actually named after birds of prey. And my daughter, before she got very ill, she used to regularly, well, twice a week, she used to go and help look after more than 20 raptors of various kinds, mostly owls, but there was hawks and uh, ospreys and other things as well. I mean, nothing to do with me. It's <laughs> another coincidental thing. But uh, she does have quite an old magical name, or old name rather, which is quite interesting. But I'm not going to go into that here. So that's the way we came. You can see the soil creep now, can't you? So it's always hazy. Always hazy. Very rare you get a clear view of the distance. Ah, that's a buzzard. I knew there was a buzzard. I <laughs> can't really go many places here. Uh, circling around looking for the bloody skylark's nest. <sighs> the animals are evil to each other, aren't they? And humans aren't, I heard you say. There's some interesting dips. So you can see earth workings now. So we're gonna head on to the top of it because it might get a, yeah and more along here. Little pits. Not sure if that's remains of the old or just the old moved about since, you know. Oh, wow. Oh, this is real, well, well dippy. Blimey. I actually wasn't expecting this. Wow. That's a lot of collapse and earthwork. I wonder what they were doing up here. What it was like. It's not the kind of time of day to feel, really. Because there's a lot of activity everywhere. do make me laugh at Skylarks. There's Adam's grave there. Huh? 
So yeah, so that's Rybury Ring. Interesting. I'm, uh, and the reason I've cut it short is because I'm getting bad feeling. My, I've got to trust my instincts here. Oh, there's loads of buzzards. Or kites. Buzzards and kites. <laughs> right, it's dead ahead. Well, yeah, pretty much dead ahead. So yeah, I'm listening to my instincts. And uh, I'm gonna head down. Where's Milk Hill? Oh, it's that one there. That's uh, the highest point in Wiltshire, actually. But I'm, I'm not feeling it today. Rybury Ring was my mission. And maybe get up to Tan Hill. Um, yeah, Tan Hill. Tan Hill? Milk Hill. And come down, because Tan Hill. In Tan Hill, that one. There. I always get mixed up, they're just hills. Oh, no, Tan Hill by the chalk pit. Isn't it? I get them mixed up, you know. I know Tan Hill and Milk Hill, I just know them as the hills, because, you know, why do you have to name each one? I know where they are. <laughs> but uh, if you hang on a mo, I'll check it out so I can tell you. Uh, yeah, I was right. You see the chalk pit, that's Kitchen Barrow Hill. And then that there, that's uh, Milk Hill. And then this that we're on is Clifford's Hill. And Tan Hill is that one that I said. So I was right, I did know. It looks like a dead ahead, it looks like a barrow there. That's probably, yeah. There are, there's, there's so many barrows and earthworks that I wish I felt safer where I parked, because <laughs> I can kind of see it. When you go to places where there's warnings of thieves operating in the area, and you know, you know, we've got high fuel prices, and the value of used vehicles has gone astronomical, it kind of puts you off, doesn't it? Well, it does me. Um, so I'm retreating, I'm listening. lived on the edge, the edge of extreme sudden collapse. And I have to really listen, it's, uh, it's quite a way to live, you know. <laughs> I don't recommend it. I know lots of people who, well, I, know, I know people who do live like this. So. Yeah, you have to have a lot of trust and it's really hard sometimes. Yeah, I kind of follow, just follow your instincts and do what's, what's good, what's right. It's kind of uh, just some values I have. I wonder if we get a crop circle in these this year. What do you think? There's always one. <laughs> There's always one along here somewhere. And one that you've seen in my video will be at the foot of uh, Adam's grave there. I'm not quite sure where I can, I can't really see what's, <laughs> can't really see on my screen, so somewhere in that field of there. I couldn't get a decent shot of it because of the angle. But yeah, I do feel better about retreating. It's, it's strange, isn't it? Yeah, my plan was to go by via the chalk pit, but just not to be.
So thanks for joining me and uh, see you next time. Ta-da!